Hello ladies and gents, today I'm here with a somewhat different video. Have you ever seen a speedrun of a game and thought, well, that's amazing, but none of this is useful in my casual playthrough? Today I'm here with 10 glitches and tags taken from Asmunia speedrunning, which you can easily use in your survival playthrough. Thanks for clicking on this video. In case you have some more clicks left, try them out on the thumb and the subscribe button below. I hope you enjoy. Number 1. The Solid Fuel Thruster Repackaging who doesn't know this situation? You're on a different planet and your thruster only has one usage left. So you gotta go back and print a new one, right? No. Just get one of these little beauties and repackage the thruster. Now it's completely full again. You can do this as often as you wish for only one graphite. So who needs hydrazine anyway? Number 2. The Terrain Tool Extension Oh, I can't even tell you how much I love this one. Your astronaut has a set reach distance, so you can pick up things from about this distance. But everything changes when you get your terrain tool out. Now you're an elastic woman. Pick up things from so far away you don't even know what they are. You can use this to enter vehicles from the same distance as well. This is just convenient. Number 3. The Core Slide I love sliding an astronaut. Being able to have a deep mine and just slide all the way down is such a good feeling. But what's a Core Slide? Well, you can actually use your terrain tool while sliding. Combined with the canister, you can slide into caves while making a perfect pathway down. This just saves so much time and is something every Astronia player should use. Number 4. The Faster Resource Mining I think most people will know this one, but I think it's an honorable mention. I could not imagine playing without it. Mining without a canister is just a pain. For this to work, you just need a canister and some soil on it. Now use the flattening tool to mine the resources. It's just so much better. Number 5. Fall damage negotiation. There are plenty of ways how to cancel fall damage. But the easiest one I can show you is by just walking into the wall while falling. This will, when done right, take away all of the fall damage you should actually receive. Here are some examples of how to cancel fall damage. Number 6. Packaged item indicator. This one is especially useful in the early game. If you don't unpack your oxygenator and instead just put it somewhere nice, you will get a so called packaged item indicator. This indicator will be visible from literally everywhere, so you will always find a quick way back home. From here on, you will get to the more advanced tags, which need some practice but are extremely useful in your playthrough. Number 7 The Magic Chair. The rover seat, which I will refer to as a chair for the rest of this video, is a wonderful item in Astroneer. The main reason we love and praise a chair is because of its leave animation. When you leave this comfortable furniture, there's a short period of time we are bound to the location of the chair, but you're able to move it as well. We abuse this to make ourselves go really really fast by leaving and entering it again and again. This will need some practice, but it's totally worth it as soon as you can. We will use this glitch for the next few tricks as well. Number 8. Core Clipping Using the magic chair or a shuttle, you can actually skip behind the barrier that's protecting the machine of the planet. To make this possible, you either jump straight through it or just place it behind the barrier and have a seat. Don't tell the devs, please. Number 9. Core Flight Another core glitch. Man, I love these. Ever found yourself in the situation that you're at the core of a planet with a shuttle and you don't know how to get back up? No? Well, here's still how you get out of there. Place a shuttle against the one of these walls, sit in it and just launch the shuttle it. Just don't question it, just do it. And number 10. Chair hopping but with the shuttle. This one is self-explained. The same thing that works with the chair works with the shuttle as well. You can use this to skip through non-mineable ground though. If you place the shuttle in a tight hole and enter it, you will be able to see through the ground and even jump through it. Use this if you're ever stuck without energy or a drill mod. Thank you so much for your attention. In case you enjoyed my commentary, go check out our Twitch channel, twitch.com slash alpacastudio. If you're interested in more Estonia speedruns or you just want to see how all of these glitches are used in a real scenario, go check out my runs on YouTube. See you next time, you absolute legends.